Leah. Uh, but I guess. All right, a little overcast this morning, making it through the rain with a little Barry Manilow, I think, this morning. 8.23, it is overcast out there. We're getting into comfort food season already? Yeah. David Robertson from The Dirty Apron is here. Uh, David, uh, we are talking about your book here, Gather. Mm -hmm. Amazing the way you brought the food together in pictures and all the recipes. And you're saying now you can get it pretty much anywhere across Canada? All across Canada, Costco's, Indigo's, it's everywhere now. Great. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, is this in there, by the way? This is, yeah. So this is the lemongrass coconut braised beef short ribs, um, which is one of my favorites. It's a breakaway from the classic red wine braised beef short ribs okay. that you typically see. So short rib is a tougher type of meat, so we have to braise it down, stewing, right? Okay, so so we buy this, the, like, let's call it, in the grocery store. It's a little cheaper <laughs> to purchase, right? Well, but that doesn't mean it's no good. Yeah, no, it's not as cheap anymore because now everybody wants it. So basically, it's, it's from the chuck flat up under the shoulder, and we're going to cook it down low here, Michael. So what I've got is I've, I've seared the short ribs, high heat, caramelization. Okay, okay, so that's just mainly for the exterior? That's where we're doing the Exactly, searing? and that's where the flavor comes from we got some garlic in here I'm gonna put in a uh, the shallots so we can start sauteing those lots of lemongrass and see what the lemongrass I've got here is lemongrass you don't really smell it when it's like this right take no, nothing at all now take the back of that knife and, and just it. hammer it on that cutting board okay, okay? And, and now smell it right oh yeah right that's where that's all the fragrance comes up. so people should like bathe really bathe in that <laughs> Smack on that lemongrass a little yeah. bit. Just, <laughs> that's, that's the palm mm. sugar going yeah. in. And then, uh, Is that a ZFD okay, I'm going to give you another task okay. to keep you focused. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Can you cut that yeah. uh, lime in half for me? Oh, in half. Oh, yeah. A um, little bit of fish sauce, okay, and that's that saltiness we get mm -hmm. in Thai food. So in that goes a little Squeeze bit of the oyster sauce as well. I've got some ginger going in here, so a lot of different flavors. This one here is a red Thai curry paste, and I just put about a tablespoon in. Now, does all that get that flavor get into the meat itself? It does, more so when we're braising it later, when it's cooking. Okay. Okay, so right now, you, you, you only get a little bit of the flavor coming off, but it all really comes together when we start cooking it. This is What's the coconut this? cream. Whoa. There we go. So, uh... Not your low count. No, no, but it's that time of year, though, hey? It's that time of year. We're like bears. We need to fatten up a little bit for the winter season. Uh, okay, for lime leaf, that goes in. And go ahead, squeeze the lime juice right over top, okay? So when we're braising, it's important for people to know you always need liquid. Liquid is what's going to keep it moist and juicy. Okay. The liquid should go about halfway up. So what I do... Halfway is I, up in your pot pan. Yeah, oh, covering the meat. Oh, okay. covering the meat. Covering okay. the meat. Now I have one over, over here. This gets braised for about two and a half to three hours. Oh, wow. Quite a while. Yeah, all the, this is where all those flavors truly come together. Look at that. Oh, that's Isn't incredible. That, um, oh, it's hot. It's hot. That's just, yeah, that's quite hot. Let's see if I can grab her. Can we tip that up and see in there? Oh yeah, we're seeing right in there. There we go. So, so you're still boiling that down? You're doing it in the oven first and yeah. then uh, here on the, on and, the range top? And, and simmering that away. So what, what we have there now is we're gonna plate that. I've got a little bit of rice, so okay. I'll take this from you. And then with it, you, 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 the, you can see that the fat okay. sometimes from the coconut might Let's separate get her on there. a little bit. We're running bit. out of time, David. Okay, you there's a little bit of rice. Okay, got the there rice. Go. Throw the meat on Put there. The short ribs. Grab some of that uh, Thai some basil and cilantro. Make it look Where pretty on the plate That's anywhere too much, you want. Probably. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> They're long pieces, <laughs> David. Jeez. <laughs> we should have the prep cook pre cooked uh, uh, cut pre, those. Pre there we go. Okay. I we could have been doing that. Some Thai basil. Great comfort food. Rainy day. Break it out. Make a ton for next month too, right? If you want to eat this today, where can we find it? Dirty Apron Deli. We're serving this as our deli. Incredible. There you go. Thanks so much for coming in. Smells unbelievable. Okay, let's check in with Greg Harper. He's out on the street.